Hazrat Mohani, the 1st of January 1875 to the 13th of May 1951, was an Indian activist in the Indian independence movement and a noted poet of the Urdu language. He coined the notable slogan Inkilab Zindabad, that translates to "Long live the revolution." In 1921, together with Swami Kumaranand, he is regarded as the first person to demand complete independence for India in 1921 at the Ahmedabad session of the Indian National Congress. Short biography He was born in 1878 as Syed Faisal ul-Hassan at Mohan, a town in the Unnao district of United Provinces in British India. Hazrat was his pen name that he used in his Urdu poetry whereas his last name Mohani refers to Mohan, his birthplace. His ancestors migrated from Nishapur, in Iran, Hazrat Mohani championed the freedom struggle. He also wrote verses expressing deep love for Krishna, and often went to Mathura to celebrate Krishna Janmashtami. He studied in Aligarh Muslim University, where some of his colleagues were Maulana Muhammad Ali Jauhar and Maulana Shakat Ali. His teachers in poetry were Taslim Lucknawi and Nasim Delvi. Academic <laughs> 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 A few of his books are Kuliyat e Hazrat Mohani, n. Collection of Hazrat Mohani's Poetry, Shar e Kalam e Ghalib, n. Explanation of Ghalib's Poetry, Nukat e Sukhan, n. Important Aspects of Poetry, Mushahidat e Zindan, n. Observations in Prison, etc. A very popular Ghazal Chupka Chupka Riyat Din sung by Ghulam Ali and Ghazal King Jagjit Singh was penned by him. He was also featured in the film Nikah of 1982. The famous slogan of Indian freedom fighters Inkwilab Zindabad was coined by Mohani in 1921. Political In 1921 Ram Prasad Bismil attended Ahmedabad Congress along with many volunteers from Shahjananpur and occupied a place on the dais. A senior congressman Prem Krishna Khanna and revolutionary Ashfaqullah Khan was also with him. Bismil played an active role in the Congress with Mohani and got the most debated proposal of Porn Swaraj passed in the general body meeting of Congress. Mohandas K. Gandhi, who was not in the favor of this proposal became quite helpless before the overwhelming demand of use. It was another victory of Bismil against the liberal group of Congress. He returned to Shahjananpur and mobilized the U's of United Province for non-cooperation with the government. The people of UP were so much influenced by the furious speeches and verses of Bismil that they became hostile against British Raj. <laughs> <laughs> Struggle for Indian independence Mohani participated in the struggle for Indian independence end of British Raj, and was jailed for many years by British authorities. He was the first person in Indian history who demanded complete independence in 1921 as he presided over an annual session of All India Muslim League. He was a practicing Muslim. <laughs> Communist movement He was among the founders of the Communist Party of India. He was also imprisoned for promoting anti-British ideas, especially for publishing an article against British policies in Egypt, in his magazine Urdu -e -muala. Afterwards, unlike some Urdu poets like Josh Malahabadi and many Muslim leaders, he chose to live in India rather than move to Pakistan after independence 1947 to represent left over Indian Muslims on various platforms. In recognition for his efforts, he was made a member of the Constituent Assembly which drafted the Indian Constitution. But unlike other members, he never signed it. <laughs> <laughs> Death and legacy Maulana Hazrat Mohani died on 13 May 1951 in Lucknow, India. Hazrat Mohani Memorial Society was founded by Maulana Nusrat Mohani in 1951. 
in Karachi, Sindh, Pakistan, Hazrat Mohani Memorial Library and Hall Trust, Karachi have been established by Hazrat Mohani Memorial Society .Every year, on his death anniversary, a memorial meeting is conducted by this trust as well as many other organizations in India and Pakistan. Also Hazrat Mohani Colony, at Korangi town in Karachi, Sindh, Pakistan, was named after Maulana Hazrat Mohani. A famous and vast road is named after him in the financial hub of Karachi. Maulana Hazrat Mohani Hospital is situated in Chamanganj, Kanpur. There is also a road named Maulana Hazrat Mohani Street in Kanpur. Maulana Hazrat Mohani Gallery is situated at Bithor Museum. Hazrat Mohani Memorial Girls Higher Secondary School in Mishabruz, Kolkata, India, is named after him. Topic Collection Kulliyat e Hazrat Mohani Collection of Hazrat Mohani's Poetry Shar e Kalam e Galib Explanation of Galib's Poetry Nukat e Sukan Important Aspects of Poetry Mushahidat e Zindan Topic See also Malin <laughs>